That rescue happened just after another video came out of a skier dangling by his backpack from a chairlift in Utah. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found that the rise in backpack skiing could create a real safety risk. These days, everyone from hardcore backcountry skiers to families carrying snacks have backpacks on the slopes. But ski safety experts recommend that you take off at least one strap so that your back is up against the back of the chair when you're riding the lift, or take it off completely and carry it in your lap. Skiers in Utah watch helplessly as a little boy dangles by a single backpack strap. He was hanging down below the chairlift a good couple of feet. Eventually, rescuers pull him to safety. But that makes twice in one week a skier was left hanging. A lot of times our lift operators will even kind of pull people aside and say, hey, your backpack looks a little big. Would you mind holding it when you're on the lift? Steve Hurlbert with Winter Park Resorts says even though they're always watching out for people wearing backpacks, accidents like the two this week are rare and preventable. When you have the straps on it, uh, and you're getting off, it can kind of catch on something. Again, the easiest thing to do, just keep the back right in front of you, right on your lap, enjoy the ride. And today, while some skiers are more aware, many say taking off their backpack every lift ride just isn't practical. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Like, this one's got uh, a waist and a chest strap, so, I mean, undoing that every time would be kind of a pain. A Colorado ski industry spokesman tells me they have no plans to ban backpacks on the slopes. He says it's up to skiers to make sure they're safe. At Winter Park, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Thanks, Jacqueline.